Good morning, everyone. My name is George Joshua. My company, Turtle Jump Technology, builds software for professionals who work with kids with disabilities. So clinicians use our software to uh, provide better treatment for their clients and save time uh, by avoiding paperwork and automating time-consuming tasks. So I want to tell you a story about this little girl right here. Her name is Mary, and I got a chance to work with Mary uh, a couple of years ago. When Mary was three years old, she was diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder, in addition to having Down syndrome. And at the time, Mary's parents didn't know if she would ever be able to communicate. They didn't know if she would be able to go to school, to be able to participate with her neurotypical peers uh, in sports, other extracurricular activities. They didn't know if they would ever hear the little girl say, I love you. And yet today, Mary is attending school. She loves to dance. You can see two thumbs up. She uh, is an engaging a little girl that uh, participates in theater, and she can communicate. She can uh, talk to her teachers, to her parents, and to other uh, people in the community around her. And so um, that life-changing uh, moment doesn't happen without hours and hours of intensive work by clinicians, by therapists, um, by a team of people investing into her life and to her parents' lives. Um, kind of similar to what Adam was saying, with all of the work that goes into being a musician, you only see that little uh, end point, that tip of the iceberg, um, for all of the work that goes into it. And so a little bit about us. Uh, my wife, Karen, is one of those clinicians. So she works at a center for kids with autism out in Benton Harbor. And ever since I've known Karen, she's been passionate about serving kids with disabilities, serving people who need help, who need that intensive work, to be able to get to a place in their life where they can enjoy the same opportunities as everybody else. I started my career in custom software development. And uh, what I found you know, after I met Karen is that I was really unsatisfied with where my career was going. I didn't feel like I really had an impact on people's lives in the same way that Karen did, uh, seeing those moments of uh, a kid being able to say I love you to their parents. And so uh, two years ago, I quit my job. I went back to school. I earned my degree uh, right here at Western Michigan University in psychology. And together, uh, Karen and I made it, make a unique team, and we started Turtle Jump Technology. And what we uh, realized is that in the field of psychology, as well as uh, our speciality is behavior analysis, uh, there is a huge opportunity for software that can help automate some of the very repetitive and time-consuming tasks that uh, clinicians face. So this is a uh, picture of my wife that I snapped at 9 o'clock on a Sunday night where she was contemplating the still hours of work that she had to do uh, in order to be ready for Monday morning to make sure that her staff and her clients were ready. And there are just a myriad of tasks that clinicians have to run through um, to be able to uh, be successful with their kids, from treatment planning to uh, designing the treatment, the getting all the materials together, training staff, managing staff, even tracking their continuing education hours. And all of these different tasks, uh, many of them are repetitive, many of them are time consuming, uh, and right now, many of them are still done on paper for most clinicians. And so uh, we have designed uh, software um, for a few different tasks, a few different things that clinicians uh, have to do. Um, the software that we build is available on uh, desktop, laptops, uh, or even on tablets, uh, mobile applications for tablets and phones um, that help clinicians be able to use the software right where they need it most, whether they're at their desk, whether they're on the floor with a kid on their knees working on a behavioral problem or teaching a skill. Uh, the, this software has to be available throughout all those um, places. This example that you see here is uh, one product that we have that is an assessment tracker. And it helps keep track of the, all the assessment data that is collected about a kid, about skills that they have or don't have, and what they're working on. And it collects it all in one place um, to be able to quickly move into the treatment phase. This integrates with uh, many, the most common electronic medical record uh, softwares that are used for behavioral health. Uh, and it helps a therapist save time by tracking assessment data uh, and uh, keep collecting it so that they can quickly move on and report on uh, that to their therapy team, to the parents, uh, and to others. The other uh, product that we have is a uh, conference app. This picture is of me presenting our uh, conference. Oh, one of these. 
<laughs> pictures of me uh, presenting our conference uh, app to uh, a conference actually right here in this building. And so uh, upstairs uh, in the main ballroom, um, 800 people uh, were uh, able to see what our product looked like and um, uh, be able to uh, download and use it. This app helps therapists save time by tracking their continuing education credits on a mobile So over the last year, we've had uh, some ups and downs, but uh, some of the highlights from our last year since we started, um, our first app was launched in October 2018. That's that uh, continuing education tracker. Uh, in April, um, we won a cash award of uh, the Brian Thomas Award through Western Michigan's uh, starting gate. Um, Laura Hobson is here. Um, and then we used that to develop our second app. That's that assessment tracker uh, and uh, really make sure that uh, that uh, app was ready to go. Um, we are planning on launching that here in uh, September. And then throughout the year, we've been working on, uh, with both direct sales and marketing, uh, growing our user base um, to be able to uh, uh, get to 7,000 users um, by April next year. So we really appreciate the opportunity to present here at 1 Million Cups, and thank you all for your uh, attention.